when you are interested in somebody yeah. and uh, they're interested in you, right? And mm-hmm. then you have this connection. Do, is this true or not that over time you slowly start to lose what you liked about them from the beginning? Now, you may like other stuff. Yeah, yeah. So little inconclusive. I can't say there's one thing that happens to every given couple. Sure. Uh, some will retain that initial whatever. Like I'm, I, for instance, I, I'm, feel the way I feel about my wife is when I first laid eyes on her. It's weird. I just have you the do? same feeling. Mo- I don't think I don't know if that's healthy or not. You're like a Disney movie, yeah. but but most people shift into a different part of the brain called the the, um, the anterior cingulate. That the anterior cingulate is more the part of the brain that starts to now the in the initial thing it's all reward apparatus, opioid system, drive systems, right. you know, all all that same kind of addictive chemistry really. But it feels good. You get high from it, right? But later that settles and you get into something that's considered a little more nourishing, a little more sort of uh, holistic, fulfilling, uh, connected, that kind of thing. So you begin to like other things about the person. It's it's a more, I, I don't know how else to describe it except holistic. Holistic, yeah. 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 It's a lot of nature. If It's like a, it's like it's a, a homey it, feel. It, yes. Part of yeah. it is nurturing feelings, yes. See, see, people confuse intensity and love. That, that's people the, confuse intensity and love. Right. Oh, I like that a lot. Yeah. So intensity, while intensity is fun and can be part of a relationship, if intensity is everything you got, that's a problem. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah, then it's just intense. And Do you think gonna, intensity can grow into something real? It could, yeah. It can. It just, you have to, it's not the average bear that can do that. So, well, because I, I think I've told you this on your show, that I never had a belief, I have a jaded belief in like what falling in love is. I, I don't believe in it in my personal world. Well, let me just tell you the people that study it, I think yeah. I told you this, uh, usually, at least in a male, it is lust, if lust at first sight that works out. That works out. Yeah. That's really good. Lust at first sight that works so out. So men almost is, always can't fall in love. They confuse the lust and love. See? Yeah. They do men it. fall in love? Yeah. They do? Yeah. Will I ever find... <laughs> I guess, no, I just don't know what... I just don't... I just think like... I, I guess I've been so inundated with what I, what the fake versions of love are yeah. that I and, never really bought and, into and, them. And exa- defining exactly what it is is a very challenging well, phenomenon. It's, it's not... Right? It's a, it's a, it's made up for everybody. You know, like the same person that's like, I'm wildly in love. They're divorced a year later. It's like, oh yeah? Were you wildly in love? Like, what are the parameters of love anyway? So I just think that's why I've never... When somebody says in love, were you in love? Yeah. I always say no. I don't know what that is. I love the old bag, but I don't know what in love is. I don't, I don't... Have you been in lust? Yeah, I've been in lust. Did that feel like something... That... We were in lust when we first met. Right. And did yeah. it feel like it grows into something a little more in certain... It totally changed. Okay, okay. Well, yeah. So that's that's yeah. what love it's is. It's not that it doesn't exist anymore. It's just something completely different. When you, Especially when you like make a home with someone you and you live house, with someone for life, years. And, absolutely. Yeah. A family. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, years you're, and you're, years and you're, years. You're, and you're a team. You know, as well. Right. So that dynamically changes. But yeah, when I was young, I had... And when I was young, I wasn't even anywhere close to love. It was always just pure, or or what would be love. It was always lust. It wasn't like I never wanted to. Okay, so so you, so the the part that was missing, right? That people yeah. say for love, you have to have attachment. Yeah, you have to allow the attachment to occur, and that's a kind of a complicated process. Right, and then you have to have commitment. Right, you actually have to agree to stay and right. and see it through, even when there's conflict. And you have to have a certain amount of mutuality where you're respecting and mutually you know, just attunement to each other and huh. willing to, you know, take each other's feelings into account. And and that helps this whole thing grow with lust. Lust, I think I think lust is actually underestimated. I think it's very important. But but oh, oh so but people pretend like it's No, I think it's very important. It's like the bad thing. Like no, oh, no, it's not it's a bad thing, it's a very important thing. And it, you it's, have to it's, have it's, it. it's a glue. It's a kind of a glue that keeps people going. How, what if the glue get loses its stick? <laughs> <laughs> it does. It naturally does, right? Yeah, right. And so it can't be the only thing. Do you have to get new glue? What do you do, Drew? How do you no, re- you, get the? Oh, you allow stronger? these other things to to grow and blossom. And, and the chemicals of those make the glue stronger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 